today's review comes courtesy of Asteria, Asteria Hair on AliExpress. They sent me over some Brazilian straight hair. Um, when they reached out to me, they wanted to send me 18, 18, 20, and then a 16 inch free parting um, 4x4 closure. So I was kind of down with it. I was like, okay, I'm kind of in the mood for something a little bit more natural esque. But instead, send me 18, 18, 18. Send me three 18s because if you do two 18s and then a 20, that 20 might look a little struggly. And so um, that's what I got, and that is what is in my hair. This definitely gives a natural vibes, right? So you do see a little bit of crimps in the hair because yesterday I wore it um, curled. I did cut some slight, ever so slight layers right here so that my curl will look good. And um, yeah, I contemplated recurling it this morning for you guys, but I kind of wanted to show you guys what happens when you curl it and then a day later. So what I was trying to say was that the hair is like the texture of a silk press. I did run through it ever so slightly with my flat iron, not really taking sections, just kind of running through it to kind of smooth it even more, but it didn't really need to be straightened too much. So now that I've kind of lightly ran the flat iron through it, it kind of reminds me of like a silk press. I guess you can say that kind of silky and not like a synthetic type of silky. But as you can see, it's very natural. Um, like I said, I went ahead and I did a curl, a really tight curl right here. And then I also did a really tight curl right here where I kind of made a little bit of a trim. And it was super duper cute, but it fell. And I think it fell because it's just such a nice, um, soft silky texture that it did not hold the curl as well. It was fine yesterday. I curled it in the morning, um, ran a few errands, and it looked good throughout the day. But like I said, sometimes, you know, if you get hair, you can like curl it really cute. And then um, two, three days later, you still have some trace of those curls. This kind of is not that. And then the ends, I just kind of curled the ends all the way around. So it kind of just like framed the hair, but the majority of the hair remained straight, if that makes sense. And it was cute. I liked it a lot. Um, like I said, it just does not hold the, hold the curl because I am infamous for forgetting to use like a hairspray or a holding spray. Um, so that's my bad. You will have to use a holding spray if you kind of want to curl it and you want them to last more than like that first day. Um, excuse this little hump right here. This closure, it's a 4x4, four four, I think I mentioned already, but it was full of bodies. Like you guys know sometimes when you get a closure, um, it's just so full of body that it kind of looks like up. If that may give you guys a 360 of what the back looks like. So I did kind of have to take the flat iron and go through this wig that I made and kind of like flatten this here and this here. But I kind of stopped right here. So it is like an ever so slight hump. But if you can see that, I want you to know that it's not the wig or um, the hair. It is the fact that I flattened here and I kind of stopped. So this hair did ship DHL. It got here in about three days, which is standard. Uh, something that I like with them is that they did um, include a little bit of a note in there without me even having to ask and put their store name, um, which is obviously is Asteria Hair, and a link to the store. I'm not going to copy this and type it down. I just will get the link from the internet. But the fact that they did this really is um, super helpful. But I did want to show you guys that um, the hair actually, yeah, the hair did come with their um actual store name around each bundle which i know um some of you may not care about but for me because i am a stickler for packaging i did like the fact that they did uh, put the store name actually on each bundle this is the packaging that the hair came in as you can see, I like the fact that each bundle tells you Brazilian virgin hair. And then underneath that skew, it tells you what the length is, which this one is 18 inches. So I really did like that. 
Again, I did use three bundles of 18 and a 16 inch closure. And then this is what I had left. I wasn't super pressed to um, include this hair in there because I kind of wanted this to be sort of a natural unit. It definitely would have fit in there if I would have just went a little bit tighter or even after I was done, I could have went back and found places to fill in. And it's not um, too spaced apart, if that makes sense. Like there are no spaces where you can see it. But this is what the hair looks like. And as you can see, let me, it's kind of easier when it's like this wig the hair kind of gets razzle dazzle but you can see that the hair is really nice i think it's super full um chocolate brown the bundles i really had no issues with the beards are a little bit thick but um nothing to mm. complain about mm. but yeah i was pretty pleased mm with construction of the bundles. My only complaint was the closure. Um, I haven't used any product or any hairspray in this hair, but I did have an issue with flyaways. Where's my comb? Yeah. But like throughout the unit, like I don't know if you can see that. Like there are little pieces and I don't can't see if you, so you can see how short some of these pieces are, I mean, obviously this is a long piece, but there are short pieces in between and it's throughout the entire closure. And it's really weird. Like, I'm not sure why they did that, but there is a lot of little small pieces that are probably about four inches long. So when I first put the unit on, I was a little bit confused because there were so many flyaways. I was kind of confused. Like, why would you want to make the flyaways? But I really wasn't sure why they did that. Um, that was my only um issue with it. But if you add a little bit of um whatever product you use, a leave-in conditioner, a serum, um, a mousse, or if you do like I did and um use a little bit of heat, it lays it down um effortlessly. But yeah, I had no real complaints about this hair aside from the little flyaways in the um, closure. I did not bleach the knots on this unit. I did use powder. Um, a little tip also is like if you're not going to be bleaching your knots, when you take your wig off, you just take um, a brush bigger than this and just dab it all over the entire lace closure. And it kind of will help to blend out or disguise those... Um, knots in your closure but if you just put this in your part it literally covers or conceals or however you want to say it um each one of those knots so the knots that are in this part that i used um or that i covered with this you cannot see so um of course the best option is to bleach your knots but if you're not able to um especially with a four by four closure it's not the end of the world so yeah i am super Pleased with this hair. I feel like this wasn't bugging me before, but now that I'm on camera, it's bugging me. As far as tangling and shedding goes, um, I do seal my wet at all. Um, shedding, I wouldn't know if it shed because I sealed my lips. My webs, a lot of you are sticklers about does it shed, does it shed, does it shed, does it shed. If you are somebody who really, really, really has an issue with shedding with um, your units, Please make sure you check out my tutorial. Um, I will have it linked down below and also it'll pop up at some point um, above. And it basically is a tutorial on how to stop the shedding on your units with this little product right here. So if you want to know what this is and how to completely stop all of your wigs, all of your bundles, all of your closures, like everything that you have, if you want it to not shed at all, I got you. Check out that review. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this review wasn't too much just a little natural slay don't forget to thumbs up this video and share it with your friends thank you all for watching i will see you in the next one